Ireland is asking everyone to press the green button and take a trip to the Emerald Isle. They've recently lifted COVID restrictions and are ready to welcome travelers back to one of the world's top vacation destinations. Travel news journalist Peter Greenberg is here with us live from Dublin Castle to share the latest travel tips. Good morning, Pete. Good morning, guys. Thanks so much for being with us. Well, Peter, what's it like being on the island of Ireland right now? Well, I have to tell you, I've been trying to get over here for the past 20 months. I love this place. I'm not a big believer in reincarnation, but I have to share with you. I actually think I lived here in a previous life. So I have, an aff I have a real affection for this country. The good news is they are open. They opened up back in July, but now they're really welcoming people back because if you're fully vaccinated, you can come over without a quarantine. You don't have to wear a mask outside. You can enjoy the country. You can breathe. And the good news is the seasonality aspects of this are gone. Uh, the deals are there because they want people to come back. Little known fact, in a given year, not last year, but the year before and the year before that, about 27% of all the visitors to Ireland are American. They, they don't only want us back, they need us back. So there are deals on the airlines, there are deals where you wanna stay, and there are deals for experiences. So if there's ever been a buyer's market, now is that time. And Peter, what tips do you have for those looking to book a trip to Ireland? Well, right now, check the airfares because I've seen them as low from the United States as $359 round trip. They're going to come back in a little before Thanksgiving and reintroduce that fare. So grab it while you can. Keep in mind that not all hotels are all at 100% occupancy. You don't want them at 100% occupancy. They're about 25 to 30% occupancy and they're discounting as well. But it's not just the rate. You got to go for the value. And the value is you don't just get to stay. They'll even let you stay in a castle one night for free. That, that never used to happen. Uh, they're discounting, of course, on some of the tours, but the best part about it now is it's not crowded. And the other reason why it's not crowded is going to happen on November 8th. That's when America opens up for all the fully vaccinated Europeans who are flooding over to the United States to visit their friends and relatives, which means there's even more space over here. It's now the time to do it. And Peter, what are the must-see sites in Dublin at the moment? Well, basically, this is a great city to walk and you want to do walking tours here. Behind me, you have our, the Dublin Castle, but you've got, you've got the, the harbor here. You've got all the historic buildings. The museums are free. How about that? You can't say that for a lot of cities. And remember, Dublin's your hub. It's where you start your tour. Uh, and in fact, if you want to see the rest of Europe, you just, you just use Dublin as your hub and you fly. They're very short flights anywhere you want to go in Western Europe. So it's a great place to start, great place to finish. And for the moment, at least, uh, the price is right. And Peter, before we go, is there any place that our viewers can go to get some more information? Well, yes, uh, the, the bottom line is you can go to my website, petergreenberg.com. We'll have all the information there. Uh, and of course, my radio show, which airs every week somewhere around the world, also accessible right where you are as well. All right, Peter, thank you so much for joining us this morning. You got it, guys.